What's up, Vape Fam? Today we're taking a look at the Arbor mod from Screaming Tree Mods. Uh, Screaming Tree Mods has been around making sleeves for a little while, so you may have heard the name. Uh, now they're jumping into the ring with their new mech mods. Um, I've got the aluminum one here, I've got the copper one here, uh, and I'm going to take them apart, show you how they work now as we go up close for the breakdown to see what makes them vape. Alright, here we are up close with the Arbor mod from Screaming Tree Mods. This is the copper one. I moved the black sleeve over to this because the pink sleeve just wasn't doing it for me. Uh, I should probably have the aluminum one out here too so you can see it. There you go. Um, it's a really interesting mod. So the way it works is, you have your top cap obviously, you have your button down here. Um, the top cap is a hybrid. The threads are pretty sharp, so it is easy to cross thread. You gotta be careful, make sure you get it lined up properly. Uh, but it is a hybrid, as you can see here. Just goes straight through to the battery. You've got this uh, nice engraving on the top that says Screaming Tree Mods. Really well machined, really well put together. Uh, there was a little bit of machining oil left in mine, but I polish all my stuff anyway, so it wasn't a big deal to me. After that, you've got the tube, the sleeve, and the button. Now, you can take the tube apart, like so. There you go. The serial number is actually etched into the tube itself, so it is hidden uh, underneath the sleeve. Pretty good wall size, nice and hefty, uh, but not as bad as some. Uh, then you've got the sleeve. Obviously, the sleeves are interchangeable. They also work with uh, uh, the the Able mod. The sleeves are the same. Uh, it's kind of where Scream Tree mods uh, came into their own was with the sleeves to begin with. Uh, and then you've got the button. Now the button is interesting because when you're not vaping, when you want to put it in your pocket, you can just thread the button up and it locks, it won't push the pin up. Uh, and then when you want to, you can adjust it down and that adjusts your throw as well. So the more you unthread it, the longer the throw is. Uh, when you unthread it too much, it is magnetic. You gotta go pretty far. Uh, there you can see the magnets. And the copper pin here in the center, the female thread, that pin will come out like so, the button or the uh, the magnets obviously come out as well. Um, there's that one, and then there's a larger one here. Now the larger one obviously fits into this part of the housing uh, around this pin that is part of the button with the STM etching on the bottom there, uh, and then you get to put the whole thing back together, which if you've ever put together magnetic button housing, it's always a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's that side. So we want opposing, facing each other. And then this pin here is going to thread into that female threads there in the housing. These magnets are strong, guys. Like so. There you go, fully functional again. After that, you can just put the sleeve on, the tube back in. And then put your cap back on. Now obviously I find it much simpler to take the top cap off to slide a battery down into. And the magnets are really, really strong. So you gotta kinda shake the battery to get it out or get a good grip on it like this. Do your fingernails and pull it out. Uh, it won't just fall out because that magnet is ridiculous. These two either try and push away from each other or they try and slide into each other all the time depending on which way the magnets are facing. Uh, so you got to be kind of careful. Uh, the aluminum is the same thing. You've got the embossed top cap. You've got the uh, engraved bottom button there. And it works the same. Just different material, different fit and finish. Well, the finish is still the same. I mean, it's really nicely machined. Um, there's no real burrs. 
like I said, the threads are kind of sharp, so you have to watch out for that. But other than that, I mean, everything functions great. I've had no misfires. The button glides nice and smooth. Um, really well put together. And now we get the, uh, the fun of doing a voltage check on it. So we'll see how it compares to some of the other ones. So let me grab the stuff, and we will go ahead and we'll do a voltage check and see how hard these hit. All right. As you can see, it's 0.12. I am not going to use a voltage checker on this today because it is messing up for some reason. Uh, so we are just going to go ahead and use the inline meter. Uh, there. I'm going to thread the inline meter in. There. And we're going to take this off, which is going to be warm because I've been trying to get this to work right. Okay, so the 0 0.12, 3.53, 3 .53. is reading a little bit low now. This does add a little bit of a load, the inline voltage meter, so it almost never reads an actual 4.2. Take the RDA off the aluminum. Take the battery out of the aluminum. Swap the batteries around, not put the copper top on there. Hmm. 3.36. And I will put this back together. We'll go back up top, talk about it. We'll vape on it. Oh, I'm going to swap the battery back. Magnets. There we go. And uh, we'll go back up top, talk about it, we'll vape on it a little bit, and we will go from there. Alright guys, that was the up close and breakdown with the Arbor Mod from Screaming Tree Mods. Uh, both the copper and the aluminum one. Um, and the voltage testing. So, a few things to go over here. Uh, first and foremost, there is no adjustment for the length of your 510 pin. So there is, see right there, that little bit of a, a gap there. Uh, I really don't mind it. I don't care if it sits flush or not. It doesn't really affect me. Uh, it might affect some of you, but uh, there's not really much you can do about it. Uh, the 510 on the profit is pretty long so it comes down makes contact with the battery I can't change that height in any way shape or form other than that the button design awesome being able to lock it up um, I carry mods in my pocket a lot I usually don't carry mech mods around for like an all-day carry just because I can't toss it in my pocket like I can with like the RX 
or some box I can click on and off and toss in my pocket and not worry about it auto firing. Uh, with this I can. Interchangeable sleeves like a lot of the higher end mods have nowadays um, and from a company that makes some really amazing sleeves if you've ever seen them uh, you already know if you haven't just go look at their sleeves. I mean, some of them are just gorgeous. Um, the mods themselves uh, copper, aluminum, there is a brass one, I don't have it, uh, and there's a few uh, unique ones, we'll say, uh, the Galaxy is like a full Galaxy coating on it, uh, there's a Dexter one that is like a blood splatter across the whole mod, um, a lot of really great designs, a lot of really great uh, sleeves, I love the sleeves, um, they are working on a different button, I don't know if it's out yet, there was supposed to be a neural button coming, uh, so you can look forward to that as well. Uh, the engraving on the bottom, I really love the engraving, the Screaming Tree Mods engraving up here on the 510 cap. Um, again, these are hybrid mods, so you have to make sure you have an RDA that supports hybrid mods. Make sure that the 510 pin does protrude, or no bueno, don't use it. Um, yeah, I don't really have much bad to say. The threads are a little bit sharp, but they grip, they tighten up well, um, so th there's no problem with them. Uh, it's just like, don't run your finger across them. I don't know why you would, but don't do it. Uh, there was a little bit of machining oil in my copper one. There was none in my aluminum. Um, otherwise, performance-wise, so we have 104 watts out of the copper and 94 out of the aluminum. So within 10 watts of each other, um, prices, I looked them up and then I forgot them. So the copper was 165 the brass is 185 and the aluminum is 150. Um, I prefer the copper personally just because I prefer a little bit more weight. This aluminum one is lightweight. I mean, it is light as a feather. Uh, there's practically no weight to it at all. Uh, some of you that might really appeal, but to me, I just prefer a little bit more heft. Um, so I've been running the copper one. They hit great. As you can see, uh, the button is nice and smooth, uh, no misfires, no hang-ups, no nothing. It rides really smooth on those two copper pins, uh, the male and female. Uh, the, <laughs> the prices, I mean, I, I can't complain. Uh, that's really not bad, especially considering some of the other authentic copper mod prices. The fact that you can use some of your sleeves from uh, the Ables is really nice because a lot of people who have Ables have already bought a bunch of sleeves and they want to be able to keep using those and I completely understand that too. Um, the engraving on the sleeve itself where it says Arbor right there, smooth, doesn't grab your finger, there's no problem. Um, so all in all, really well put together mod, hits great, works great, buttons great, locking feature, uh, copper, brass, aluminum, uh, a couple specialty ones. Tons and tons of great sleeves. Uh, definitely check out the sleeves if you've got an Able. I believe they fit a Limitless, but don't quote me on that. I would have to double check that. Um, maybe I'll leave that down in the description. I'll look it up and try and put it in there. Um, but great mods, good prices. Definitely check them out. The link will be in the description. Um, so all in all, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Like, subscribe, it helps me out. Uh, if you have any questions that I didn't address, leave them in the comments down below. If I want, I wanted to get another copper mod in before I go through with this, but I'm going to have all the mods that I've done so far together at one time and do them all right next to each other, like every five mods or so, so that you have an exact apples to apples right then and there comparison of the wattage and voltage drop and all that stuff. Uh, so don't get too hung up on numbers right now. Uh, this is performing with the best of them right now from what I've done, the VCM, VCM2, so uh, something to keep in mind. And there wasn't much of a drop from this to the aluminum, 10 watts. Uh, I mean, that's negligible at best. So um, hope to see you guys again soon. Till next time, suck, blow, and keep on vaping.